Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, um, since my last video, I have taken everything out of my office and rearranged it. And so I moved my craft table on the other side of the room because there's a window right over there. And so I figured I would get better light. And so now I'm backwards from what I'm used to doing. And so uh, it's going to be really weird here for me for a minute until I get used to being on this side of the table. So, or this side of the room, rather. So this is going to be my fabric for my next journal uh, cover. I'm doing a challenge with Dear Julie Julie. And um, so this is the list of things that we have to choose from. There's 20 on this list and I only have to do 11. I can do all 20 of them if I want to. Um, but this month is really challenging and I don't know if I'll be able to get them all done in time. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine done so far. And this is the list of supplies that we're allowed to use. And right now I'm on any one thing. You, we have to make uh, four of the same page uh, and different embellishments on them. So last night I was playing around with my jelly plates and... Um, I did a few different prints. Um, I still need lots of practice on this, but this one is going to go in this sig this signature here. And so I'm gonna put that to the side for now um, because what I'm going to do is we're going to make an envelope flap that's up with a double pocket. And so I want that to go here and then um, I got these uh, note cards, they're blank inside. I got them from Dollar Tree uh, probably last year. I've had them for a while. Um, but what we're gonna do is this kind of matches the color, the orange on there. Um, and so I'm gonna glue this here. And then when you flip it over, you're going to have a, a flip flap here and then we're going to glue this here so we have two insert uh two pockets right there and then we'll have another pocket over on this side uh, before i do that though um i like to ink and so we're just going to put some ink on here real quick um i do like sewing too um I'll, and i have been able to make it so my sewing machine is actually right next to me, uh, but it's right next to me on a table that's behind me right next to me. And so it's kind of awkward to pull it over here while I'm in the middle of stuff, only because my um, camera uh, thing, the thing that holds my camera is right a couple inches right next to my arm on my right hand side. And so I need to figure out a, a better way to do that because I don't really have a lot of room here. My desk is actually a um, door, a regular size door that you would put on your house. <laughs> um, it doesn't, uh, it does have a hole in it for the handle, which is on the back side there against the wall. And that is so all of my um, plugs for my lamps and whatnot can be plugged in without me having to run everything behind because uh, I have all my beads right in front of me in a, in, oh, let's see. Oh, can, those are all my beads. Now let's see if I can put this back on here without turning you off and messing you up. I think I messed you up because I don't know how to edit yet. So you're going to have to bear with me. All right. Okay. So we are going to glue this. I hope I didn't mess you up too bad because I think we're closer and we're at an angle now. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'll see if I can figure out how to edit. Before this weekend, I'm going out of town this weekend, having a girl's weekend away. It's 
going to be nice because I haven't had a vacation in years. Years, years. Okay, so we're going to get that close to the edge, but not so close that it butts up against it because we want it to be able to open without any issues. Okay, do I have anything? Okay, this isn't going in there, but let's see. Now you have two little pockets right there. And then, yeah, I really need lots of practice with this here. Haven't quite figured out how to do that. Um, what I am gonna do though with this here is I am going to put a little bit of washi tape right there just because I did get some glue on the side and just also to give it a little bit of extra uh, strength. And because washi tape isn't very sticky, at least not all of it, um, got some Scotch Create uh, permanent glue stick and so I'm just gonna run this over there real quick, get a little bit of glue on that. And then we're gonna just put this down here, give it some strength. And so let's see. Okay, I just wanna get that glue off there because it'll be sticky a little bit. Okay, don't forget to cover your glue. Okay, so now this will fit in just like that. Am I even in camera? No, sorry about that. Okay, since I like the ink and we already started, I'm gonna go ahead and ink this too. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as a removable card. That way you can use all of it um, to journal. Oh, even that side, but you know what? We're going to take a piece of paper to cover that up so you don't have to write around those words there. And I'll show you how to do that. Or I show you how I do that anyway. Okay. Let's see. Let's just do the outside real quick. Yeah, I like these cards because uh, you can get a variety of um, uh, designs on it throughout the entire year. And so I have some uh, that I bought for spring that I didn't get a chance to use because I did have a job outside of my house uh, at that time. So I'm going to get my little box here and I know that I have paper in here somewhere. Is it in this room? I think I grabbed the wrong box. Let's see what that. Nope, not that. Maybe that. Okay, that'll fit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just uh, pull out this here. We're just gonna find the center of that real quick. That looks good right there. And I had previously inked the edges because I was going to use this for something else. Uh, so we just got one to use. And um, what I'm using for this uh, journal is ground espresso. So we're just going to glue that. So, yeah. And then this here is um, fabric. Fabrifix, Fabritac. And you know what? We'll go ahead and make that a little pocket right there, too. Okay. Oh, I should have done the other sides. That's all right. The pocket will just be on this side. And it'll be a hidden pocket since I put it down before I put a little notch in there. Is that something? Okay. There you go, now you don't see those words and you still have writing space there. So, that is gonna go in here like this. Oh, look at that. Pull out one box in my office. My desk is a complete disaster. Okay, so 
this is going to go in this signature like this. And so part of the challenge this month is we have to do things in order, and that means um, uh, we have to make all of our page in, our pages and our embellishments first, and then we make our cover, which is why this is not done yet. Um, that'll be a different video. Um, and that's really difficult for me because um, I usually make my covers first, and that way I know uh, how big to make these papers. So my centers on all of my signatures are going to be Edith Holden pages um, like this. So you can see pictures on both sides. And um, so these are my signatures and I had to make, uh, I'm gonna have to make an extra big book because this is our mini challenge and the challenge right here and um either I'm going to have to make another one of these this is braille paper got some pockets there pockets there and then it flips in like that and this is paper that I've dyed coffee dyed um I totally left this sitting in the in the coffee solution for like two days because I got busy and I forgot it was there um, and it came out really cool. And so I want to be able to use this. Um, but it sticks out super far. Let's see here. And so I don't know if you can see how far that sticks out right there. But... It's maybe <clears throat> it's maybe a whole half an inch wider than it should be. And actually that's backwards. Because when I was making it, I wasn't paying attention. And this here, in order for me to sew this signature in here, I have to put it in that way. But here's some more of those papers. Oh, that was a happy accident. I was trying to get a design there with my jelly plate, but this is what I did last night. Just a couple of them. This is a piece of fabric that I used to try and get these dots on there, All right? Those white dots, it didn't work, <laughs> but that's okay. Just a couple of the pages that I did. Okay. I will do a full thrip flip through when I'm done with this and um, that's one more that we can mark off. Envelope, flap, flip up, double pocket with two inserts. And I am going to put, where are we at here? A number 19 right here. So that way I know I'm done with that. And I have um, already done, I think it's on the back side. Here we go. This is the one that I did this morning, and um, I had to nix that video because somebody kept texting me, and my phone kept blowing up, and I kept losing my train of thought, so <laughs> you're not going to get that video. So that's the outside. That's the inside, and this here is just the extra um, paint, acrylic paint that was on my brayer. And then uh, this cardstock here came from a pack that I got at the Dollar Tree. Actually, I think it's right here. Every time I go, I pick up I pick up a pack of one of these. That's probably gonna be too shiny. But this is the pack that I'm using for this particular project because there's a lot of them in here. Oh, that's super pretty. I didn't go through the whole thing because I know not all of this is gonna work for it. But what happened to be on top was this is what I'm using for it. These ones right here. So, and with that one page, what I did was um, I was watching uh, Sasebo, I think is how she pronounces it. And uh, she has a video about how to make a rust solution. And so 
I have my rest solution. Um, that's it's probably like a month old now, but I just took the paintbrush and I just splattered it. Um, so you can see that on this side, it went through this side. You can't really see it that well, which is why I flipped it over and did it on that side. But that is also for another video. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Stay tuned.